throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Wolves have long been admired and feared by cultures who have lived alongside them, taking on many roles in mythology, both benevolent and malevolent in nature. Mythical wolves come in all shapes and sizes, though some are much larger than others. In the far frozen reaches of North America, where wolves are an integral part of the ecosystem, as well as competitors to human hunters. The Inuit people told of a wolf that haunts the snowy forests and open tundra, one large enough to make a polar bear appear minuscule by comparison. The Amarok, the great wolf spirit. While many other creatures of legend, namely monsters belonging to Native American mythologies, are portrayed as grotesque, hellish, or even alien-like in appearance, the Amarok is described as looking like an ordinary wolf, albeit one that is larger than life. In addition to its gigantic size, some say that the Amarok's eyes are otherworldly, deep and piercing, unlike any other living creature in the world, and its howl sounds like the howling winds of a blizzard. What's more is that Amaroks are said to have a deep connection with the spiritual world and the wild as a whole, perhaps deeper than any other animal, and certainly deeper than any person. From this, the Amaroks can be seen as a bridge between the physical and spiritual worlds. Unlike ordinary wolves, Amaroks do not live in packs, aside from mother wolves with a litter of pups, preferring a solitary lifestyle. The Amarok was seen as the ultimate predator, the very top of the arctic food chain, one who kept the natural balance in check. It was also seen as a very real threat to people foolish enough to wander out in the wilds after dark consuming them in the blink of an eye. It should be noted that Amaroks are not viewed as evil beings. They are strong and powerful, and can very easily pose a threat to human beings, but they hold no malice in their actions. In fact, some Inuit legends show that the Amarok can be a compassionate creature, as was the case for a young boy who is physically stunted and handicapped, ostracized by his village. Wanting to improve his strength and his stature, the boy went out into the night and called out to the Lord of Strength. The Lord of Strength did not show, but instead, an Amarok appeared from out of the mist. The boy was frightened for even the strongest person was no match for the great wolves. But instead of eating what would have been an easy meal, the Amarok proceeded to knock the boy to the ground with his tail. This resulted in a number of small bones falling from the boy's body. The Amarok told the boy that these bones had prevented his growth, and he instructed him to return daily in order to increase his strength. The boy did it as he was bade, and after several days of meeting with the Amarok and wrestling him, he gained enough strength to surpass three of the strongest bears and went on to win the prestige and esteem of his people. Another legend tells of how the Amarok restored the natural balance between hunter and prey. It is said, in the old days, caribou numbers were vast, so many 
that they threaten to wipe out what precious plant life exists in the Arctic. Humans began to hunt the caribou for their meat, exclusively targeting the strong and healthy individuals, fearing that eating the meat of a sick animal would lead to illness and death. Though this practice lowered the caribou numbers, the sickly and weak individuals remained safe from the hunter's spear, yet would fall victim to disease and injury, and potentially pass on illness and frailty to future generations of caribou. The caribou would no longer thrive, and the humans would starve. To prevent this, Amara came down and devoured scores of infirm caribou, leaving behind the strong and healthy ones to grow in number and be hunted by the people. The wolves followed in the Amarok's example, and to this day, will prefer to target sick or weakened individuals from the herds. These stories paint the Amarok as something of a compassionate creature, one who directly or indirectly aids humanity, but there are plenty of stories of humans trying to hunt, capture, or kill Amaroks. But many of these stories end in a macabre fashion, with the human being killed, eaten, or sometimes taken, body and spirit. One story relates how a man in mourning of a deceased relative had sought out an Amarok's lair, perhaps seeking death himself, or perhaps with the intent to take out his frustration on something. The man brought with him another family member, and in time, they found the Amarok's lair. The Amarok was nowhere to be found, but instead, they found a litter of pups and mercilessly killed them all. The deed done, the man's family member became frightened, and so the two fled, hiding themselves in a nearby cave. From the cave's entrance, they could see the Amarok returning with food for its pups. When the Amarok found its pups mercilessly slain, it ran to a nearby lake and pulled something human-shaped out of the water. In that exact moment, the mourning man fell dead at his relative's feet. The Amarok took the man's spirit from his body, as nothing remains concealed from the Amarok. And no matter how far the man would have run, and no matter where he may have hidden, the Amarok would have its revenge. The animals that live in the Arctic Circle are incredibly powerful and can be dangerous when crossed. But no wolf or bear could ever match the power of the Amarok. All the power and intelligence of a wolf magnified to mythical proportions and blessed with a deep and unknowable connection to the spirit realm. Inuit mythology tells a multitude of stories about the Amarok. Some where they keep the natural balance in check. Some where they may help human beings heal and grow past their natural limits. And many where the Amarok proves just how efficient a hunter it is, devouring people foolish enough to wander the tundra at night, and even snatching the spirits of those who offend them. The Amarok acts as a mediator between mankind the animal kingdom, and the spirit realm, as well as a boogeyman to keep children and fools from straying out after dark. But some say that Amaroks are truly out there, roaming the icy tundras and snowy forests of the north, keeping the herds in check, and living away from human eyes.